Hello again. Um, here's a picture of the solar array. It's been a couple of years since I did this tiltable mount. And uh, everything is great. It doesn't seem like it's moved whatsoever. Very happy. I used a similar design for the uh, water panels. And actually, those have moved. You can see that that pole right there sort of moved. I don't know if it's because the water panels are a lot heavier or if I just didn't dig the hole deep enough or use enough concrete, but it seems like the electric one works great and uh, the solar one's not so happy. But, um, you know, what to do with the electricity that these are generating? I just have a couple of golf cart batteries that I charge and sometimes I use the power in my shop, but I was thinking to myself, instead of uh, just dumping all this electricity, maybe I could heat some water with uh, the electricity. So just thought I was gonna uh, experiment with building a little hot water heater. So I'm gonna show you what that's all about. So this right here is a hot water heating element and it looks a lot like uh, the electric elements that you'd put into any hot water tank that you'd heat in your house, but it's a little different because it actually is configured to run on 12 volts, as you can see right there. 12 volts, 700 watts. And uh, you can get these on Amazon. It cost me maybe 35 or $40 for it. Um, and what's kind of nice about this one is you can configure it um, for 300 watts or 700 watts, which in my case, um, I hooked it up in the 700 watt configuration to my golf cart battery setup and it just drained the batteries immediately. Uh, 700 watts going through this is quite a bit of amperage. So uh, I reconfigured it for 300 and uh, my charge controller um, worked pretty good with this. It turned on and off, but I'm going to show you how I just... I, I didn't. I don't have a hot water tank to put this into, so I decided I was just going to put it into uh, one of these storage bins, which holds, you know, 18 gallons of water or something like that, which is more than enough if you wanted to wash some dishes at camp or you want to take a shower. Okay. So you're going to need the heating element, which I already showed you, and then also you're going to need to have a bulkhead fitting like this. And I think this is an inch and a half bulkhead fitting. And I got this off of Amazon too. Uh, it's made out of EPDM and... Right there it says it and then it's made by a company called banjo this thing is pretty awesome it comes with the seal and uh, it feels like it's sort of like a glass filled material it's really tough so we're going to cut the right size hole in the side of this bin and then we're going to install this bulkhead fitting and then we're going to screw in our heating element so i'm just taking a measurement across the threads on uh, the banjo and it's about 2.20 so i'm going to Make a circle here, about 2.2. .2. Now set my compass to 1.1 radius, so that's about 2.2 .2 diameter circle. And there we go. Now we've got right size hole. And then I'm just gonna take a utility knife and I'm gonna cut this out. So here we are, you can see the final product here. I didn't make it exactly around. It doesn't need to be, there's a nice Nice broad seal on this. So as long as you get it pretty close to the threads, you're gonna be okay. So there we go. That's what we got on the inside. So now we take our nut, and it's actually a left-hand thread on this, which you would find out very quickly. going to take a pair of channel locks come down on this so that we're squeezing the seal and the bin isn't leaking and now our heating element just screws in to the bulkhead fitting and I've got this seal right here so I want to tighten down on that And you just want to go tight enough so no water comes out. You can even wait until you have some water in the bin so you know how tight to go. So there it is with the heating element installed. And you're probably saying to yourself, geez, you're going to put 700 watts of energy through that in uh, a plastic bulkhead fitting in a plastic bin? That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, it might be a bad idea. I think with the water in there, though, you know, when I tried it out, it doesn't seem like uh, the plastic gets hot whatsoever. It seems like the water keeps the temperature down quite a bit. 
but it's worth keeping your eye on and yeah this is something that's for camp it's probably not uh, you don't want to melt the bin in your basement and light your house on fire so keep an eye on it it's sort of just an experiment and it's sort of just a uh, something that you could use temporarily if you needed to have some hot water